Hey, it's Bart here. I am actually laying underneath my um, F-150 here. I lowered down my spare tire. Check out my one of my other videos to, to see that. But I'm back on the trailer disconnect problem on my dashboard, right? And whenever it rains, it gets wet down under here. Uh, trailer disconnect comes on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. It's really annoying. You gotta hit there and sit okay quite a bit. So, um, laying it down at wires. So I disconnected, this is the trailer plug, disconnected that simply by pushing this down and pulling it out. It actually came out pretty, pretty well. Ha, all my grease is in there. So what I'm doing is I got some dielectric grease and I grease the heck out of that thing. Um, I've got all my plugs in there. Um, everything looked pretty good. It looked like there was a little bit of water on the bottom of this connector here. But um, other than that, it looked pretty good. So I just really put dielectric grease all over on the inside, all around the outside edges of this. I really don't want water to get in. And I'm just gonna put it, put it back until I hear that click. I just heard that click. So the other thing I'm worried about is maybe there's a, a wire, one of these wires here that might be a little um, exposed. Maybe water's getting in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't pump some dielectric grease in all those. I don't think that's the problem, um, but if I can seal that just a little bit, I don't I don't mind having grease all over that, honestly, if it means I don't have that, that problem. I mean, I've looked at all these other wires. You've gotta really inspect all of this. I mean, it's possible that inside of this, one of these bundles, there's, a, there's an exposed wire but you've got to follow it all the way around. You can look at every little thing that there might be. This is a, uh, a wire that goes down to um, the lights. Uh, looks like there's something that might be disconnected there. Didn't get put back in, but it's not really affecting any wires. I don't think, actually, that might be it. No, that's just a, a clip that holds the wire in. There's nothing exposed, nothing exposed there. Um, but yeah, you had, and, and you can see the hole that goes in over there. I can push that back in. But here's um, here's that wire, that that there. I don't think that's it because um, the air refers to the turn lights, right? But everything else looks pretty good all the way, and and you can actually come up and and see wire looms and follow them all the way around. Same thing up on this other side as this as this comes out. There's the the light as well. That's that's just a goes into the lights it has nothing to do with the trailer lights anyway that goes all the way over you can see the, 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 the wire loom following that um, that's the backup sensors but all, the, all this stuff is is related right so you've got to look at all of that but to me it's I recently had this bumper replaced and so I'm, I'm looking at this that would have been disconnected while they did that everything else should have been uh, left as is but here's another connector up here it's this guy that I also want to put grease on. I want to inspect all these wires, um, both on that side of it, as well as on this side of it. So I'm going to go ahead and and disconnect that. Take, you can see it's not in bad shape, but this is the only other one that could possibly give me, give me problems. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that and get some grease in it as well. So I disconnected these. These are pretty easy to disconnect. You just basically push that down when you push that down to the thumb, you can really pull those both apart. You can see this is quite dirty. It might be my problem because the other one didn't have this much dirt on it. Um, any place there's dirt, to me that indicates, well, that dirt had to get there somehow. The easiest way for dirt to go is with water, right? Any, anytime you've got water and dirt coming together. So I'm gonna go ahead, go get a, a clean rag or something, uh, a little, little damp and, and clean clean all this up and then I'm going to fill that full of grease. I don't feel any grease at all when I touch it. I don't see any grease inside of there either. So um, inspecting these wires, you're looking for brakes, you're looking for old. I mean, this is a three-year-old truck. It's got 40,000 miles on it. I really don't think that these wires are, are a problem. I don't like how dirty they are though. Again, that indicates there's quite a bit of water that gets sprayed up in here. Um, yeah, and I've got these deep thread mud snow tires that um, could very well fling a lot of water right up right up onto this right so very very possible so I'll probably clean that up a little bit um, 
yeah, I'm just using this this dielectric grease. Do you know dielectric grease? I think I got it from AutoZone or something. Um, I'm tempted <laughs> to also use some Flex Seal. There's like liquid. Uh, I mean, th th this is this was right next to the the liquid electrical tape. But that's basically what this would be. I'm tempted to spray it onto the back side of that. Once I do that, though, oh, it's going to create a nightmare if you ever have to replace um, like the pins inside of there, right? Then you're going to have to um, probably replace the entire loom or maybe at least take that all these wires out all the way over to here. Um, it just creates really kind of a nightmare. So I'm really hesitant to use this. If it doesn't fix it after I do this dielectric, I very well might spray some stuff, but I'd rather use the dielectric grease and squirt in all these holes. Same thing over here. If I have to get some dielectric grease and try to just seal all this stuff up on the backside. But I really think the problem is, um, I mean, I just see a lot of dirt in there that indicates that there's probably some water coming through. So if I get some dielectric grease in there, it's actually going to work. Dielectric grease basically means that uh, electric current cannot run through it. Typically for grease, um, it, it can carry an electric current, but if it's dielectric grease, it won't. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Put it back together. Um, it's not gonna snow or rain for a couple days, but we'll find out pretty quick. Thank you. Okay, so looking at these connectors, I actually just took all of them apart. This one was the hardest one to get apart. Um, pushing that down, I think it's because it's just a bigger connector. I actually had to dis disconnect it from the little clip there uh, and get a hold of it, wiggle it, but it, fi it finally it finally came loose. You just gotta really wiggle it a lot. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, but you can see, like, all these are really dirty. Especially this one, I was surprised. This is the one that goes up to the tailgate up there. Um, I mean, it, it, it still feels soaked. I'm a little bit worried about that. That might be my culprit. Um, that's probably the next thing I'll try if this doesn't work. But I'm gonna just grease all these up because they were all super dirty. Um, dirt fell out of all of them. Um, I don't think that should happen, but I'm just gonna grease them up and put it back together. That's, that's it. And when I'm greasing them up, that's, that's what I'm doing, just smearing the top. Uh, typically it's the female surface because the male's in there pretty tight. Um, but just really just greasing that up. That's what we want to protect, those electrical connectors. And then when I put this together, just make sure, I mean, if it's already connected to that, that's great. Make, make sure you hear a click. And sometimes it's a two-hand two, two hand job where you actually really put that in tight. It's not in all the way. You can see it's not. It's still going to the quarter inch. So... Just gonna lay here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I still, I still didn't hear a clip. Um, gonna be very careful, but I'm actually gonna get my my channel locks, open these things up, and just clip them. Just make sure they're tight. I really don't want it to come loose. And that was tight and you got to be careful i mean because i was i was biting right here and end up here there's barely a ledge there so there's not much and you, you can do some damage so just be careful um obviously right there is the bottom connector so you can't grab that but you're grabbing that and pit, pinching it together usually just two hands will will be enough um, but just do your best and as I said, I was going to fill up that backside uh, dielectric grease. I really did. I really don't want any water get in there. Don't use silicone. Silicone, um, I would not use that. I would not even use like that Flex Seal spray. Um, rather, just, yeah, get, if you're worried about a connector, just go ahead and, and, and fill that full. Get as much as you can in there. You can see I've kind of just sprayed a bunch. I mean, it's just going to displace water. Um, I might, yeah, I might do that one as well, right here, just to just to make sure. I mean, you can see the, a lot of those wires are going directly there. So that's the last one I'll hit. Um, I'll probably hit this one as well. I'm I'm just really worried. There's a lot of water in this one, so this one here. Um, so I just want to make sure that it's all buttoned up. When I do something, I want to <laughs> really do it well and not just halfway. I'm under here already. Just going to take a few more minutes and do that. 
and then button it up. That's it. So should fix the problem. Crossed. Been dealing with this for a few months. Um, this should should do it though. Thank you. Bye. All right, Bart here. I just wanted to wrap up this video that I've done on the trailer disconnect connect issue. Uh, kept popping up on my display and just went through and did all those connectors that uh, you probably just have seen. Uh, anyway, this is the first time that I've actually been driving on a wet road uh, repeatedly. These roads have snow and water on them and I have not once heard the ba -da -ding, ba -da -ding error where it's trailer connect, disconnect. So that did it for me. Lots of dielectric grease, cleaning out those connectors and making sure that everything's buttoned up tight. Uh, that's the problem I had and it fixed it. So I'd recommend the same. Clean the receptacles, lots of dielectric grease, put it back together, you're home free. So that's it for me. I'm out. Have a great, uh, have a great day. Thanks.